process of thinking the how I was going to put a mix design together for um, coating the outside of the panels, whether I should just leave them smooth or whether I should scratch the surface off and spray them and whatnot. And this was just part of going through that and coming up with a mix um, for the base coat for the like stucco and whatnot that's all going to be sprayed on. So, and it's the first test we ever did with the, uh, with a texture gun, putting air creep through it. So, it's kind of interesting. So, I hope you enjoy it. You give it something to stick to. Okay, guys. There's what they look like after I scrape the surface off. I'm going to give you a quick shot of it. There's a little bit of a close-up of what it looks like under the skin that I just was able to just flake off with a trowel. Um, and so now I'm going to do my seal coat on it. Now, just keep in mind that most of the mix designs I've seen out there where they're doing them for these uh, domes and whatnot, they only expand the Portland cement slurry like two times. Uh, you know, I'm taking seven, eight gallons and expanding it up to 30 gallons, so I'm expanding it almost four times. It's amazing that these panels were as strong as they were. I'm uh, going to go ahead and um, just do a nice, good, hard coat on the outside, though. You know, it's going to be kind of a a Portland lime and, and sand mixture similar to a stucco. Because I'm making it real dense. I'm Mommy, I it's, think it's I gonna be similar. Like a, hey buddy. Like a, Come give dad a hug. Wanna play frisbee with me? Yeah I wanna play frisbee with you. What kind of frisbee you got there? It, that looks like a cow patty. It's cow poop. I don't give my boys crap to throw around. <laughs> okay, go get it. You know how on the panels when I scratch the uh, skin off and it's really aerated underneath? Um, that's why I have to use like the lime, the J lube, and the baking soda. You asked, am I going to put baking soda in this? I'm, I don't think I'm going to to start with. We'll see how quick it sets up. Um, the only reason it w it sets up real slow is because I've been aerating it so much with so much foam, and uh, so it won't, so I'm gonna just try it without it on this skin coat that I'm putting on. It's almost like a stucco. It's gonna be a seal coat, something we can spray with a sealant, and it'll be watertight.
This is a test. This is only a test. Is it going to work? Yeah. It will? Yeah. Okay. Kendari says it will. Watch out, boys. Oh. Oh, I, my hose is unplugged. Oh, so you want me to come over here and In the air compressor? Yeah. Yeah, that close up. You see when I tried to trial it, it wouldn't let me trial it because there's no sand in it. I, I have a good thick layer like between three eighths and a quarter inch thick on there. But um, it's just going to have to be sprayed and stayed. And it shouldn't, it should be a non-shrink stuff because I have so much lime in it. Um, so I'm, I'm really thinking that A, we have to add sand to it. Or B, I kind of like it like this, with with it just have being aerated from the foam, because I just doubled it in the foam. It's still kind of light, but still dense and heavy enough. And I'm just wondering if maybe just doing the orange peel look on the whole outside of the building is it. You can always paint it or do whatever if Grandma wants a different color. All right, guys. I hope you like what we're doing. If you do, just be sure and... Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Be sure and click the bell at the bottom to get notifications. And if you want to follow along with these AirCute projects, go ahead and check out our Etsy store. There's where you'll find out everything you need to know about building a foam mate for yourself. Or um, if you want, I'd be happy to put one together and send it out to you.